good afternoon all i welcome you to the research symposium organized by nihu in coordination with the urban village charitable trust and jamia milia islamia welcome to all the members who have joined this research symposium my sir ziaul luck i am urban planner and architect and my co guide presenter is mr zuturian architect zuturian and kharwala who is assistant professor in integral university today we are presenting our topic our research symposium on the ladakh region basically we talking about the le city which is in transition in upper himalayan region into a sustainable and smart city approach so the content of presentation which we have structured out is the introduction the urban and rural linkages which is a sustainable urban and rural continuum in the himalayan region basically in the le ladakh and also the issues and challenges which the city of le town of le is facing into its urban context basically we are talking about the urbanization which is happening there in le town and it is developing into a smart and sustainable city and the priority areas for which key areas for which the government is focusing on sustainable urbanism of le town thematic areas of intervention sweat analysis and based on the sweat analysis we are talking about the what is the future approach and the Uh, goals which have need to be achieved in the le region so talking about the geographical setting the <coughs> le town is situated between the zanskar range and the upper karakoram range basically it is the chang thang region which connects the uh, central asia to the south asian uh, region basically to indonesia to japan and to the malaysian region it is a trade route which is basically a silk route and the le is central to that silk route when we uh, come from the central asia to the southeast asian cities so basically the research paper which we are focusing today is talking about a sustainable urbanization or uh, an urbanization approach which is based on the urban principles and the town which is facing the urbanization issues should be dealt with the sustainable manner and also the le future as a smart city that it is developing into a smart city by the ministry of housing and urban affairs how the le will transform and eventually become a smart sustainable city so this region is very sanctity to the to its cultural value and its ethnic value the indigenous communities which are living in the le region and these communities are living from uh, ages in that region and have evolved as a indigenous landscape so in the le when you talk about the uh, the the urban the rural and the urban uh, mixture which is hybridity which is going there so there is a huge potential in urbanization but on the other side there is a rural base which is very strong and it is also overlapping the uh, town landscape area so it is declared by the union territory by the um, government of india and the ministry of home affairs have talked about to develop this region as a smart city introduction to the le city le city is having a population of about 31000 where there are 21 wards in the city and it is basically a town committee and which the densities are quite low as compared to urban areas so it is a it is basically a, a hybrid nature which is evolving there and in this hybridity there are challenges related to urbanization there are issues of infrastructure the high tourist influx which has uh, which has five fold ten fold increase from 2004 14 and now there are there is about footfall of 3 lakh uh, tourist which is in the uh, le ladakh region for uh, tourist activities so there is immense uh, you know, uh, pressure on the ecology the sustainable habitats and also on the uh, natural resources and environmental future so the ladakh in the le town the least populated a uh, ward is ward number 18 which has only 125 uh, persons which are living in that ward and the densities are quite low there are 3374 persons average density is about 3374 person per square kilometer and based on this there is huge uh, influx of urbanization and that is uh, reflected in the census 2011 that the urban rural and the uh, mix of the total is is urbanization is more predominant on this uh, this town and still it continues to predominant uh, there are scheduled tribes which are living in this uh, region there are scheduled caste population which is there these tribes 
and uh, but in the census 2021 we have witnessed that the uh, general uh, category the scheduled caste population is migrating somewhere else because they are de dependent on the rural area and when you visit the city you will found that majority of the population is is uh, living in the uh, rural context so uh, in the right you can see the ecological biodiversity there are there is a rich flora fauna and uh, there is a there is a symbiotic relationship between the tribes um, the people who are basically from lay and they have origin from uh, that that is specific context and they are maintaining the ecology and landscape of that region so if you see the entire uh, landscape which is in the top plan you can see there is a huge biodiversity and the uh, road network and the street network are uh, natural natural and indigenous in nature and you cannot find any rigid lines or structured uh, plan or grid network for what we talk about in extension planning or the area planning you can see there is a very rich symbiotic relationship a mutual relationship between the ecology the biodiversity and the community which are living there but when we see the huge influx of tourist activity and the hospitality sector which is growing there there's a immense pressure on infrastructures like solid waste management water supply drainage uh, the water supply, the ground water table is decreasing day by day the soil uh, the solid waste management is not uh, proper the fecal sludge issues there are issues related to fecal sludge management waste management issues traffic congestion in the core city area which you can see in the lower map that there are huge influx of uh, tourist uh, cars and their vehicles and that is increasing the uh, the hustle and bustle of the city so we are basically now talking about the sustainable communities which are living in this region now moving towards the issues and challenges identified in the region of context of lay so there are inadequate access to basic infrastructure which needs to be addressed to ensure an efficient reliable and safe universal services delivered to citizens and communities secondly huge influx of tourists putting immense pressure on the environment and culture of the town as shown in the graph uh, there is a uh, variation between the number of national and international indian tourists secondly solid waste management environment management overloaded and over pressured which uh, uh, issued related to solid waste management tourist services traffic management mobility parking problem and during peak seasons fourthly public dream and urban mobility and viability issues in peak hours is a prominent place locations and streets in evening and morning the air pollution and environmental issues related to congestion traffic jams need to be addressed disaster risk mitigation and resilience due to fragile ecology and geography of ladakh region is need for disaster management smart urban governance need for icd intervention at bottom for pyramid for connecting the communities citizens stakeholders leaders and officials for holistic development and the most important is the public participation ensuring effective participation of population in resolving priority issues challenges and day to day problem for providing a decent quality of life so in all as we see the urban use analysis urban place worships urban factors urban hospital and dispensary so these all uh, are the urban uh, urban land uses so which fostering multi culture uh, multi literal and civic partnership partnership with the urban local governance system public departments civic bodies ngos trusts and departments for the provision of basic services civic utilities and urban amenities and the last one the citizens interface need to strengthen by use of ice so uh, as a result there are a possibility or to priority areas for civil urbanization of uh, data that is promoting the identity and cultural ecology then secondary thing is the participation participatory development of traditional communities and local area development by ra dpfi guidelines 2022 framework proposed by ministry there is a need for community led local area planning 
for sustainable development for urban uh, equity resource planning and management thirdly performance and good gov urban governance fourthly peri urban rural integration for holistic development and climate resilient communities planning for eco sensitive and resilient sustainable urban rural planning in future in the entire lay region and ladakh region by sensitive planning and conservation techniques fifthly the sustainable tourism development by promoting cultural and ecological values of the country and the foremost is the economy is the need or uh, vision of, uh, of any tourism sector or tourism locality economy and such tourist flow catering to the high incomes of the population strong intervention policy changes as most attractive tourist spots in india need to priority area for sustainable rural urbanism of lata and promoting indigenous skills and strengthening the producer and user consumer linkages there is a need to create opportunity for semi skilled and skilled workers minimal laborers municipal working and you know working as vending etc so moving towards i request uh, mr zeal take the floor so now coming to the thematic areas and the probable areas of intervention which we need in uh, in this ladakh region basically the lay so there is need for um, planning for amrut which is talking about infrastructure development related to water supply drainage and non motorized transport vehicles like management and solid waste management issues we need to focus on the national urban greenery mission in enhancing the green cover of the urban area basically the lay town water sensitive planning which talks about uh, the shift from the natural spring to the surface with water reservoir and stop depleting the ground water then we have to 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 focus on the environment and the ecological aspect of the city waste waste management related to construction demolish waste and solid waste management water quality monitoring because water uh, soil quality and water quality monitoring soil will plays an important role in the urban uh, greenery and scientific waste management and smart solid waste management so you can see the entire uh, layout which talks about the ecologically sensitive planning water and sanitation issues which we have to deal with the smart metering escada interventions by uh, using the sensors air quality and water quality monitoring continuous air quality monitoring for the areas which have more traffic influx and also the ambient air quality monitoring for the quality air in the urban area for fecal sludge waste management we need to decentralize the entire activity of the sludge and treatment waste process management and promoting the walkable and city, uh, communities and cities aspect in the urban area by promoting the non motorized transport in the uh, city core area and developing real time uh, mobility apps for the taxi workers the uh, mobility uh, aspect of the city should be managed we have to focus on the heritage and the bill form aspect in which we talk about the lighting and uh, promoting the aesthetics of the uh, urban core which is which is under uh, huge uh, transformation because new buildings are coming up smart lighting and the lighting should be dependent on the solar potential because there is the immense potential of solar in this region then focusing on the urban build form we have to focus also on the um, building plan approval process which is not um, mandatory there and the any type of building which are coming there have not been uh, approved or they have not taken the prior uh, prior activity for the infrastructure mapping that what is the Uh, load on that infrastructure which is existing in the um, core city area we have to also focus on the single based approval of any urban services disaster management system should be strengthened by the smart disaster management system in which cities and communities become a part of that entire um, uh, disaster management uh, chain we have to improve upon the solid waste management smart waste management techniques wind and solar and town committee should be uh, e uh, should be uh, uh, reformed by using e governance app and the citizen and the government uh, connect which needs to be established in the in the uh, lay region by doing all these thematic areas we we can we can uh, say that the the entire climate change and the sustainable issues would be dealt uh, effectively and this is the kernel mapping of the entire lay town which talks about the intensity of uh, the community which is aware to the climate change aspect and you can see the red hot spots which are basically the urbanized part which which have a real time focus on the climate change and the disaster management issues which the community is facing so this is the kernel density mapping of the lay town 
so finally we have to conclude that there is a very uh, rich landscape and there is a very uh, very good potential for environmental sustainability but we have to integrate the smart technology with the sustainable dimension and plan it in such a way that it should not become a city which has which is a city but city uh, which is indigenous in nature which has the environmental dimension biodiversity management other than developing cities which are only uh, basic, based on the road network the infrastructure the issues related to urbanization we don't want this kind of urbanization so we have to really focus on uh, the biodiversity and environment sustainability aspect so this entire uh, landscape you can see is very rich and uh, there are uh, tremendous potential but there are issues also which 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 are related to our smart park, the parking issues which are related to conservation which are related to waste management which are related to the environment and the biodiversity aspect and eventually uh, when we are talking about the sustainability we need to consider the sustainable goal in which the the ladakh has stopped in the goal number 12 which talks about sustainable consumption and sustainable production basically uh, it means that the communities is communities are aware the environment to the environmental aspect and the production and the consumption behavior is too much sustainable in in its uh, nature so uh, that's why the ladakh has uh, topped in the sustainable goal uh, number 12 in according to un and we have also developed a matrix that what are the thematic areas which uh, can be uh, taken in consideration for the future so for for the consideration we have talked about the governance issues the the water issues the mobility issues and there is high priority on the waste water water management can you get to the black bag side a previous slide there are uh, there should be focus on water waste water solid waste management so the greens which you can see are the high uh, risk uh, areas which need to be addressed like safety and security the health issues the citizen and the governance aspect the economy and employment uh, aspect which is the core and also the public spaces renewal and inclusiveness in the city so that is what we conclude that this is our references and in the future we need to focus on the uh, sustainable dimension related to mobility related to water wastewater thank you thank you